be wearing that belt at all, all the time. Man, Durlock's tower is gonna be. Oh! Fuck. Uh, he he he. Been here long? Uh, da da da. Long enough, though I can't say I've I've seen you before. By what name shall I call you, friend? Hmm, you may call me Telen Eltruar, the shining light of Tether. For once I was. Once I was. And you shall call Buttercup. And you I shall call Buttercup, because I can and shall. Hoo hoo! You have a way out of here, don't you? I smell it on you. I do, but it comes with a price. There's a cloak I need to find, and many here who would see me and my master dead before they let it fall from their grubby hands. Follow me and be a- Oh, fuck that. Yes, I have a way out here, but no. You won't have it by threat or tears. If you must have it, then you can have it from my corpse, old fool! As you wish. Oh, fuck. Wherever fate takes me. Bye. <laughs> Just running. Uh, okay. What do you need? We're gonna do There's this. Better. Cast your shit on him. Although he's... Alright. Oh, is he just gonna dispel those guys? Oh, no. Um, yeah, you guys just attack him. Um, I don't have another dispel, do I? Nope. Do I have any... Oh, you know what I do have, though? Although, I don't want to kill those guys. Fucking hate all the mages in here. I'll do it. Uh oh, that better not be lightning bolt. Oh fuck, that might be lightning bolt. Well, I may be dead here. <laughs> I'll do it. Oh, that's lightning bolt. Ah! Corn roll to hit him. A three, dude. Ah, uh, man, I had that set up so perfectly too. All right, that's fucking bullshit. I had a good idea. Oh, great, awesome! One. But of course, Corn Roll's a fucking shitty ass. Motherfucker, dude. You gonna fucking cast it, bro? Oh, I hit him. Wait, I thought that. Other fuck shit. Sure. All right. One of these times, this is gonna work. Oh great! Now it sums a fucking dog. All right. Maybe I don't need to dispel him then. Come on, Corrin. Oh no! It's all right. We're okay. I I have a plan this time. All right, I'll just 
Over there. What is your bidding? There. What? <laughs> he only takes. <laughs> Fuck that. And my dog dies. Worth it! What a dumb fucking spell. <laughs> Alright, I guess it worked out. Great peril yields great I'm here to help. Life is advent. Luck be a lady. You need me? Yes, wherever fate takes me. This does not bode well for Durlog's tower, though. I think we're good. Oh shit. Pick up, uh, you can grab it. Too. And you can pick up. Yeah. Oh, go back to uh, being invisible, please. At once. Just kill. Now, now, now. Hello there. And you might be who? Another wayward spellslinger looking for a way out? Or just another power-hungry fool trying to force the doors from the wrong side. Tell me, warrior. Why is it that whatever you seek is always in the last place you look? Uh, because you find it? Ha! A common sense answer in a place uncommon where sense does not rule a day. You are looking for something here. Something of power and value. I am sure I know just what it is and for whom you seek it. I do not wish to relinquish it, but do you have... What do you have to say to that? How do you know these things of me? The others are, here are like me, in that they do not understand this place. I doubt the place itself could tell its own purpose were it able to answer questions. Suffice it that I am not so quick to turn to desperation as the others. And I do not fear the unknown quite so much. If this place draws magical energies to it, and I am here at the center, then it draws magical energy to me by default. In time I will harness it, and in time I will leave. Already I know more of things here than any other. I can see things. Things others cannot. And what can you see? What is this place? I see why you're here. I see that I have what you seek. I see that we must fight and the victor shall leave. What is this place? Many things. Today is a today it is a dueling pit. Tomorrow it will be a graveyard. Yesterday it was what? I cannot say. If it is natural, it is an abomination. If it is fine, it is utterly cruel. We are all magical things, or we are all many things, including obtuse and unclear. Do what you will. If I win, I am released. If I lose, I am released. Fair enough. This is probably going to go horribly, but we're doing it. Go! Whatever you happy to help. Uh, okay, well... Okay. Let's <laughs> kill scroll. Scribble, scribble, scribble. As every. Oh, hang on. Let me, uh. Uh huh. Uh, scribble, scribble, scribble. As every mage must do. These walls will hold your power fast unless I walk right through. A boat I bade from birch and bark, but burned I did at morn. Rather I gather in this hell spot than suffer my hands get warm. Fools this place has, and many more to come. 
I will greed and take what will, and in the end, will I have all? Oh, I think so. I mock your prison, Ao, as though you would care to listen. Are you even behind the walls? I see your symbols in the sky, but others too. Mister, a goddess of magic, my magical maiden, why do you treat your children so? Do you give the sparkle of magic only so it cannot be used? A lesson in humility for those on the verge of true power? Drop your robes and wands and staves, or forever be trapped with your self-importance and pride. Perhaps... Perhaps, but I will sh not shed what I have learned earned just to walk the skies again. I shall profit from this. I will play outside your rules. This place will bring it all to me in time, though I can't take it elsewhere. No, you, you can't take it with you, but you can stay with it and hold it tight. Perhaps with help outside, bah, none but those who have learned can find this place again, and they will not interrupt the teaching. I will not bend. I will snap and strike back in, in time. Humility is so humiliating. And I will not suffer more. Power impotent is still preferable to power lost. Of course, perhaps the walls do not listen to such musings, and my writings are pointless. My writing is pointless. No matter, for tomorrow I shall wipe this clean and write anew. My verse gets better. One must have hobbies. Okay, I'm not gonna fucking leave that. What can I do to help? I'm here to help. Oh my fuck off. Are you f I'm here to help. Chandler, you return. I cannot say I'm totally pleased with that, but you have done me a service nonetheless. Hey, I only died like five times. Okay, more than that, like ten. You may live, but we are not square and fair. Cross my path again, and the deaths of my daughters will be the fuel that drives my anger. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. For now, I'm satisfied, but only for now. Leave me. Leave me now. Me? Yes, sir. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go rest before we go do anything else. <laughs> we got fucked up pretty good. Is there anything to identify? Well, that, but... Oh, yeah, and all of these. Oh, wait, you got it, Paul. Whatever. Oh shit. How many do I need? Bye. What is it this time? You rang? Another paralyzation wand. I got fucking four of them now. <laughs> That's okay. I'll take it. The Warven Runestone, huh? Alright, uh pff, well let's sell what we can, I guess. Uh-huh. I feel mm, yeah, we'll leave it. Actually, you know what? We'll uh Loom that more so now. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna do that. Shoo, sure, we should probably have that. Wait, what is improved cash? Pfft, level seven, Jesus. Uh, but but uh, but uh, we're gonna do two of those actually. Yes. God, you don't need to yell at me. Uh, but uh, okay. You keep that belt. So so. Uh. Yeah, that's it. So many fucking wands. Oh, jeez. Okay, now we're gonna rest again. Alright. Um. Okay, we'll put that what back can on. I do to at once? I'm here to help.
Thorella's home. That's right, she wants us to find her uh, long lost son in Durlog's tower. Hey. Greetings, adventurers. You must excuse me if if I've nary a happy word to share this day. There's been a loss in the family, you see. Worry not, lady. Is there anything that we could do to help? Unless you wish to search for my errant son, then no. Tell us a tale and we might be able to help you. I have, or perhaps I should say had, a son named Dalton. He fell in with a crew of adventurers from Waterdeep. Dalton was always obsessed with the idea of being a hero. Alas, he was neither the brains nor the ability. Has neither the brains nor the ability. Such is a mother's lot in life, however, to watch her children perform acts of idiocy despite her warnings or concerns. A poor boy took those acts of idiocy to the extreme. He and his thick-skulled cohorts took it upon themselves to plumb the depths of Durlog's tower. They bought a war token from the shyster, Galkin, and made ready to leave. So I begged and cried, Dalton still insisted on going. The band never returned. I fear that they were destroyed by the Mad Dwarf's machinations. That is the tale, sad but true. Rest easy, woman. We will find your son if he still lives. Thank you so much. So, such kindness from strangers is unheard of in this harsh life. I will wait Dalton's return with breathless anticipation. All right, Dalton, we're gonna find your bitch ass. At once. But you're at the very end. Chandelier, oh, chandelier, let's go in your fucking home. Yeah, what do you got to say now, bitch? I'm gonna ransack your place. All right, fucking trap. I'm probably gonna die. At once. Well, this looks good. I remember they summoned like a fucking demon in here. Ugh, that's a tough fight too. At once. That is a tough fight. Who's here? Um, let's see here. How the fuck do you say that name? Likely not, but can I help you? Please be quick as I close forever tonight I do. Good merchant, what is your worry? You seem troubled. <laughs> yeah, you all, you all nice, not, nice, nice now, but no gold, right? The same all day, every day. Night, two symptoms. Nice, nice people come look and look and say nice, nice and leave. I lose patience for the nice to look at pretty to hold, but don't buy a suffering thing. You're here to buy or you just say nice and leave? Del Sphere... Del Sphere Tanyan. Del Sphere Tanyan. I might be interested. Tell me, what exactly do you deal in? I sell... Sell the small and shiny for the tourists in the Durlex Tower. But there are none now there. Bandits on the roads keep the people off and away, so I'm stuck with all this stock I am. War tokens I have of all shapes and sizes. Some I found by Elven Rune, and some I made myself. I'm, and some I made myself I made. Maybe some good or maybe all bad, but they don't... But don't they all look pretty? i tell you what I will. I'll sell you everything I have you buy for low or low price of 500 gold salt. Then I go home where I appreciate... Where they appreciate a bubble shine. Buy or no, and walk the walk. You have a deal and done. Oh hell, now I'm doing it too. Good and done. Now take it all and get out so I can pack and go. Just enough of my time in this place gone and lost for me. No more room for that. Dropped it. What? Oh motherfucker. A 
I'm here to help. <laughs> Bought all the stuff for him. Wait, how many of these do I have now? Oh god. You think you can keep a locked house from me? At once. Not on your life. At once. What a stand back and watch this. Are you? At once. I don't know why I'm taking him. He's fucking full up. History of Om. Um. Of course it's locked. Wherever fate takes me. Yes. <laughs> what could I do to help? At once. All right, we got to go over here now. How's a day to you all? My name is Fenris Bulan. I'm honored to have you speak with me. How may I be of assistance? I'm pleased to meet you. Have you gone on the tour of Durlag's Tower? Indeed I have. It was a wonderful tour, although somewhat steep in price. Why do you ask? Perhaps you're entertained thoughts of following my footsteps? We thought that you might find the time to share some of your knowledge of the tower and of the tour. The tale of that ill-fated tower is a fascinating one. They're like Troll Killer, a great dwarven hero, built a tower. Over a long and a su successful career, they're like a mass, a great hoard of treasure. Rumors spoke of rooms full of gems and a great hall strewn with dusty heaps of gold coins. With the aid of hired dwarves, they're like dug many chambers and passages in the tower and raised the lone tower above it, planning it as a seat where he could found a dwarven community and grow old in peace, surrounded by happy, prosperous kin. Instead, doppelgangers, organized and aided by foul mind flares, slew and impersonated Durlag's companions. After Durlag, uh, after the shock dwarf discovered the first impersonation, he was attacked by all the others and spent a terror-filled ten day frantically fighting through his own fortress, chased by monsters who wore familiar forms but sought his death. In the end, alone and victorious, he was powerless to stop the fleeing illithids. Fearful they'd return, Durlag, Durlag Hired the finest craft folk he could find and began to rebuild his tower and the tower beneath as an elaborate succession of traps, magical wards, secret passages, sliding prison chambers, and triggered weapons. For several centuries, things went on like this as the increasingly eccentric Durlag lived on fungi and, it is cruelly whispered, the bodies of intruders. At length he died, and presumably his bones still lie in some inner room guarded by thousands of deadly traps. After having seen the first rooms of the tower myself, I can say that it must be as dangerous as the legends portend. It is a fascinating place to visit, and I strongly recommend that you take a tour. I must be off now. Farewell, and enjoy. Okay. Well, that'll be fun. That'll be fun and entertaining. I can't wait. Can't wait to die a hundred thousand times in there. It's gonna be fun. Right. Just this house right here. I must be speaking to you. Listen, please. Mendez. Uh hello friends. It is a pleasure meeting you. You are heroes for Sword, Sword Coast. I, um, long wait to meet you. I am Mendez of Waterdeep, quester of small truth in this land. We, that is, I am in need of favor from you. I have a money for pay and a big heart for friendship. <laughs> Can you help a gentle fellow in search for knowledge? Knowledge is a worthy pursuit, my friend. I will help if I can. 
Tragic things are happening in this unfair, how you say, world. The men with power, they hurt the men with none. They destroy things that teach us better life. I tell you true, it would be better if these men are not born. This Merchants League, these bad men, they find the island to the west. The island has a broken ship and a shipwreck. Very old shipwreck, they say. How did the Merchants League discover the, the island? They sail to New World and a big storm blow them north. The sailors can't control boat and it almost crashed on island rocks. It is very stormy, but they can see the old wrecked ship. They come back to Baldur's Gate and sell sea charts to Merchants League Counting House. A pox upon them. Why is the Merchants League interested in an island in the middle of nowhere? What does it boast besides dangerous shores and a rotting ship? These merchant men are greedy. They went, they want island and ship. May their bones rot in nine hells. The merchants want treasures from the New World. The Tractal Sea is very wide, so Merchant League ships must stop for supplies. They would stop at Evermeet, but Elf Place is north too much. Only place to stop is Sundra on Lantern, but fees are very expensive. Merchant men lose money too much in Sa Sundra. The merchant sailors see more than shipwreck on island. They see Big Harbor also. They want to turn this harbor into a new stop for ships from Waterdeep to Baldur's Gate. What about the shipwreck? The Merchant's League... The Merchant's League sailors see markings on the ship. The shipwreck hero is Baldurin's. These men, they think that Baldurin had much treasure on his final voyage. Maybe that's true, but ship also has many artifacts. These things hold knowledge of Baldurin's fate. I wish to recover the ship's logbook. I will solve the mystery of Baldurin's final voyage. Merchant's League will destroy my artifacts to get treasure. This must not happen. If you help me, I get things precious to me. You get treasure. Merchant men get nothing. You will help, yes? Mendez, you are clearly working towards a noble end. I will help you. I chart a boat forthwith. There's a small problem, though. These men that find island, they keep the sea charts locked up. In Baldur's Gate, there's a building in northeast of city called Merchant's League County House. Yep, already been there. To find it, just go northeast from Elfsong Tavern. The sea charts, they're in there. Most likely, Captain of Ship will have them. I don't know such things as chart retrieval, but you are a hero, and there's no problem for heroes. There might be small dangers, so I'll give you some gold for the charts. I will wait for you here. Uh, consider it done. I will be back as soon as I am able. Please, sorry, friends. I need charts soon. Merchants, prepare ships as we speak. All right, let's go. Oh, fuck. Callahan. Hello, mates. Callahan, I be. Scourge of fish in the seven seas. Ain't seen you before. Now you be. Uh... Ah, oh, mate, born and raised in the beard, I beat. No, I'm not. Indeed, it is my first visit to lovely Olga's beard. It's situated on the lovely sword 